Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of tutorial on angular material with angular. In the previous video, we have seen different types of buttons of angular material. There are so many real-time scenarios where you need to disable these buttons based on certain criteria. In those conditions, you can make use of HTML's disabled property and make these buttons disabled. For example, let's have one raised button in our application and see how we can implement disabled option to a button. Let's open any code editor to see it in practical. I don't have any code now. Let me add one raised button here. This is simple basic type of raised button. When you can preview this one in browser, you can observe that it is clickable. And when you click on this one, there is a ripple effect for this button. To disable this click functionality, the only thing you need to do is you need to add disabled property to this button. So let's add disabled at the end of this button's open tag. Now save this file and go back to browser. Now if you observe the button in browser, it turned to gray in color and you cannot click on this one. This is one of the real-time scenario where you can disable the button based on your requirement. That's it guys for this short video. Thanks for watching this. If you like this video, please click on like button, share it with others and subscribe to my channel.